What's up guys, Pop Pop 101 here. Have you ever been fighting an enemy and thought, you know, maybe this is too tough? Well now, we have Minato's teleporting kunai, which actually lets you teleport directly to the location and makes combat a whole lot better. So I'm just going to be showcasing this and all the abilities. So let's get started. I'm going to be using this handsome gentleman right here to showcase the mod. So why don't we move him over and actually grab the kunai. So we have Minato's flying thunder god kunai, which obviously lets you teleport to the location all you need to do is grow it let go of it whatever pull the trigger and you teleport to it you automatically grab it now the cool thing about this is it works anywhere so you throw it up in the air you teleport the location up in the air you throw it with telekinesis and let's say you want to land right there that is exactly where you land so it makes it really fun if you want to do some Combat from up above, some sneak oh <laughs> some sneak attacks on enemies and do something crazy like that. If we go to the Minato, we have our teleport grab, which lets you teleport to the location with the spell button, or the auto rotate, which lets you automatically rotate facing the nearest enemy after teleporting. So by default, we throw it, trigger, nothing happens. We press the spell button, we teleport to the location of the kunai. Now, yes, this does work for multiple, so if I grab two, whenever it wants to come out, we have these two guys right here, we throw one there, and we throw it there. Spell button right here, look at that, and the other spell button, now we're looking at that. So we can use two at the same time. I'm working on implementing a way so that we can add a list of all the different locations, but I don't know if that's going to be an official part of the mod just yet. For now, I'm just going to showcase everything that I have. And then, of course, auto-rotate. So what I'm going to do is actually spawn in a guy to help us out with this. So what this does is no matter where you teleport, it'll automatically rotate you to be facing the enemy. We turn it off. We throw it. We want to teleport over there. We're facing whatever direction the kunai was in. But if we turn it back on... Whatever enemy is the closest to our current position, we will teleport and face them. And once it's turned on, we throw it, we will automatically turn to face the direction of whatever creature is nearest to us. So in our case, why don't we grab both of these and we will set it to the other feature. We open up our book, the teleport on grab. Now we throw it and when we pull the trigger, instead of the spell button, we teleport the location. Notice that doesn't work. Trigger, teleport to the location, and you automatically grab the kunai. Now, something I upgraded in this version, if I do this in slow-mo, is you teleport and you grab it as many times as you want. There's no more needing to re-grab it every single time. But, even if you throw it down, watch this. Okay, so we grabbed it both. But, notice we drop it. It forces you to auto-grab it. Now, the way to turn this off is if you press the spell button, and you drop it, press the trigger, no more teleporting. This one. Oh no, we're teleporting, and then we press the spell button, nothing. So it is something that works anytime you grab it and you pull the trigger. All you have to do to turn it off is press the spell button and look at that. No more automatically teleporting. I figured this was a much better way of doing it, because let's be honest. Like I did before, if we want to use slow-mo so I can do this a little bit better, and we want to link up a bunch of kunai teleports going around behind the enemy, in front of them, behind them again, way up in the air, or down at the ground right behind him for a sneak attack, we can easily do that. But of course, he's one of my immortal enemies for testing and making these awesome videos for you guys, so he's obviously not going to die right away. Unless I do something like that. But I have to say, this is one of my favorite weapons in Trials of the Shinobi now, and probably in all of Blade and Sorcery. But you know guys, I think I should probably show you how well this actually works in combat. Why don't we give it a shot? <laughs> oh man, that is absolutely brutal. Now, of course, I am using slow-mo with this because I enjoy it quite a bit more. But why don't we try this out? Oh. 
<laughs> Thank you. Oh, how cool would it be if I just sniped him? Or did something like that. Oh, you're gonna try to beat me now. Come on. You know what? I'm not even gonna use slow-mo. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Man, I love this. They really can't do anything. Watch. If I leave a trap. So I've got my dagger right there. Come here. Come on. Let's see what you got. It's that simple. And, you know, let's just drop this. Oh, look at that. Oh, I guess it phases right through him. That's unfortunate. Okay. Now, after this little bit of combat, I think you guys can understand why I like this kunai so much. Obviously, you can pierce with it on all three ends of it. You can customize how well you teleport with it. And overall, it's just extremely overpowered. Now, I'm excited for Nomad to hopefully get scripting abilities soon. Yes, I can add this now, but I gotta say, it won't be as good by any means. All it'll do is let you teleport to the location, and I know you guys want more than just that, right? But for now, I gotta say, this is pretty good for just the standard PC VR. I mean, come on. Oh, and of course, teleport right back to it. Now, one thing that I did change in this version, because yes, you can auto-grab it, but one thing I recently changed is that when you throw it and it's piercing an enemy, it will unpierce itself before you automatically grab it, so the enemy doesn't randomly teleport with you or glitch any which way. Now, that makes it work a heck of a lot better, especially if you're in the middle of combat and you don't want it to randomly glitch on you. <laughs> so you can easily do something like that and look at that no bugs no problems but of course enemies are always going to be getting on our nerves so what do we do that oh i think i got him right in the shoulder okay are you gonna fight all right come on lady let's see what you got oh right in the head too nice so if you guys are on the hunt for some more mods, definitely check this out. Link in the description on virtualitygaming.tech. It is the new website to get all of my content, all of my mods. So I started working for virtual reality gaming, and I gotta say, everything is awesome. I mean, come on. Being able to make all these mods for you guys, doing this as a career, how cool is that? One of the other cool features about this is you can actually... Stick your finger through this, or throw the kunai to it. Hey, pal. Oh, we cut his blade in half? Okay. I'm alright with that. Let's see if we can do it some more. Oh, look at that! Wow. Hey, I'm gonna need this back. You better stay down, punk. Come on, lady. Don't test me. Oh, all right. Looks like we have some bugs coming in. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, you think you're going to beat me with that little short sword? I think not. Come on. Who dares fight me? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, this really isn't fair. It really is not, but I gotta say, I don't have any problems with it. I love being able to teleport, and I love the fact that it automatically makes us look directly at our enemies. Were you gonna fight me with a handle? Yeah, that's what I thought. What do you say we do a real challenge? Ten enemies, all of their different uniforms, my custom YouTube mix melee waves. Now this, I'm looking forward to trying. Especially since we can now cut their blades. Alright, let's see what you guys got. Oh yeah. See what you guys are trying to pull. Let's see what you got. Oh, got an arm on that one. Okay. I don't think you need that sword anymore, do you? Yeah. Give me that. I love being able to cut their weapons off. Watch this. <laughs> Look at that. Or you? What you gonna you gonna attack me with just a handle? Yeah, it's what I thought, lady. Look at this. You know what? Just here. You can hold. Oh man, I didn't mean to kill her so quickly. Watch. You can fight me as much as you want. Come here. Come here. Go ahead. Go ahead, attack me with that nub. You too. Now right, go ahead. I see you. <laughs> I'll break all your weapons. Every single one of them fighting me with broken weapons? This is just unfair. Alright. You know what? I think it's time. Let's see what you guys got. Can nobody face me? Oh, okay. I see it. See what you're trying to do. You think you can get away? You think I'm gonna give you a chance to grab a sword? Nope. You stay down, punk. Come on. See what you got, lady. And I love that she's using two different axes right now, too. That is cool. You gonna fight your friends now? Oh man. Alright. Live combat it is. All the breakables too. Really? That's that's what you're trying to do? <laughs> See what you got? Oh, a chair? Ooh. I 
Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Breakable item spawner, probably one of my favorite recent mods. Hey. Now it's a bar fight. What do you think you're doing, lady? Alright, I guess the last one we're doing. I give you credit, you're pretty strong. I think that's it. All right, if you guys like this mod, you like the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching.